as developers, we're often thinking about how to do things more efficiently and kind of make the web a little bit better. And there's something that we've been thinking about recently. And if you think about all of the millions of computers and browsers that are out there, as they access the internet, so they come along and hit this a.com website, say that website uses a popular JavaScript library like Prototype or Dojo or jQuery or what have you. It's obviously going to download that file, get it all running in the browser. Then if we hit b.com, it's also going to go through and download that same JavaScript file, say they use the same popular library, same version. And obviously that's fairly wasteful in that we're duplicating the bytes in over the wire. We're sending the same file multiple times, which obviously takes time um, and effort and, and bandwidth and everything else. And we also then have duplicate files in the actual browser cache. And it's not that the uh, size of the files on disk is an issue, but this means that when you hit b.com, you had to go out and reload and prime the cache and do all that kind of fun stuff instead of being able to just load the one that you've already downloaded once. There's also a performance burden on the person deploying the application. You have to set up server-side caching to be smart, so you're not constantly downloading that same JavaScript file. And so there's tips and tricks, and if you talk to someone like Steve Souders, who's a performance expert that now works at Google, and you look at some of the studies he's done uh, in, his, in his books, you quickly see that most people actually don't get the correct uh, configuration, and the default configuration that comes with many web servers um, actually doesn't help us any. So that means that we have some issues there, and that goes also for compression, where we want to be able to say, hey, when you download this JavaScript, go ahead and zip it up uh, on the way down if the browser can accept that. And minification, which is taking your nicely written JavaScript file that has comments in it and verbose names so you can understand it, um, and stripping all of that out to have the smallest possible fire file that we can send down the wire. So we've got various issues with the way we're kind of doing things right now. So we thought, what if we took uh, popular JavaScript libraries and made them available in a way that could be shared in the browser? So that's what we're doing. We're going to be hosting these open source JavaScript libraries at Google, and we're going to start with Prototype, Scriptaculous, jQuery, Dojo, MooTools, you know, popular libraries that we know that are out there, but this is just the beginning. Uh, we don't want this to be a way where we choose a certain subset. We just wanted to kind of get going and then accept requests for other open source libraries that we can also bring into this system. So once you've got the library into our system, you can access it directly. So you can go through and hit uh, the Google API's domain and grab a particular library with a particular version. So this is a URL that you would put into a script source. Then you have direct access to that library. You can also use the AJAX API loader. So if you already loaded that JavaScript, you can do a simple google.load, and that's going to grab the library for the particular version, doing uh, its nice tricks for, for loading that library thought for you. Then there's also other features like automatically doing the compression for you. So obviously we're handling the server side, so you don't have to worry for that. And the minification of libraries. So we can go through, and as you see in that URL, there's a, a and packed equals false. Uh, you can do a packed equals true to get the, the version that's minified uh, for you. Now, one reason that we saw this is what we saw people already kind of doing this with the Google Code Project Hosting, where they were going through and jQuery does this. It has where it manages jQuery.js is on uh, the open source project hosting, and so you can directly access a URL. And we just wanted to make this a little bit more formal and allow other people that aren't necessarily using Google Code's project hosting to also play into our CDN, if you will. So obviously Google has uh, nice, fast systems that are deployed uh, in various places, various data centers that can be close to users as they download them. Once the first a.com guy comes in for that prototype library in the URL, the second one comes along that uses the same URL, it's going to be hopefully cached already and primed for the browser. So the application can get loaded in right away. So I hope this is uh, something that you find interesting. We think it's a, a small thing that can actually go uh, a long way. 
uh, but we really want your input. So we're looking forward to get that, uh, getting that at Google I.O. as well as online. Thanks for listening.